Just our next project, just working on our joinery. We're going to cut four joints, a rabbit, a butt joint, a dado, and a miter. Sketch it in your notebooks first, and then we're going to draw it in Inventor, four parts assembled. And then um, let's go out in the shop and I'll show you how to cut these dados. And and so rabbits. our surface on two. Then it's actually it's not quite straight on this back side. And it is straight on this side. So the first thing I'm going to do is on the table saw I'll run this edge parallel to this edge. I really want to take off as little wood as possible so as not to waste it. So all I'm doing is surfacing so these two sides are parallel. Right. And once I'm surfaced now, um, these two from the planer, these two um, on the table saw, I'm going to cross cut both so these are perpendicular to here. Uh, everything has to start from square, otherwise it's really hard to get things accurate and join. So here's a table saw. And on this table saw, I have a dado blade set, which is two blades with a bunch of chippers in between. Before my hands go anywhere near any cutter, I need to make sure it's off completely and there's a secondary breaker turned off. So um, you always double check that. So the breaker's off. Um, and what I need to do is I want to set this blade width to the thickness of my board. So the way I find the thickness of my board is I use a dial caliper. It's actually called a fractional dial caliper. Every little mark is a 64th. Before I use it, I calibrate it, I close it gently, and make sure I'm on zero. And then when I check this width of wood, or thickness of wood, it's 13 sixteenths. It's kind of hard to see there, but it's at 13 sixteenths. So I know I'm at 13 sixteenths. That's the width of blade I want. I go to the dado blade set here, and I look up 13 sixteenths, and I see I have AC four E's and a B. So this is my outside B. I gotta take off all of these. Okay, so I, I really have to use, um, I gotta use this as a chart to figure out what blades I need in here. So I, again, I went to 13 16 I found the blades that I need. I put them on here. When I put them on here, I don't want these teeth to touch the other teeth. So they have to be stacked accordingly. And then before I really crank this thing down, I'm gonna double check it. So I want it to be 13 16 What I'll do is I'll start by cutting this right here. So I wanna cut this dado first. This is an inch sticking out. So I'm going to measure off of this end right here. I'll measure down an inch. My inch. Mark right there. So I'm going to line it up. That outside's right there. Right? Because this is my inch sticking out. There's my 13 16 dado. Turn the breaker on. Make sure everything's clear. Turn the tool on. And then when I run this through, fingers are far away from that blade. I really have to hold this thing down, down hard and up into the fence as well. So let's see here. All right. Then there's your dado, and that should just fit right in there like that. Okay, so there's your first joint. Then looking at this, or better your notebook, this is three plus the 13 sixteenths. So from the inside here, I'm gonna measure down three and 13 sixteenths. And then I'm gonna cross cut that on the top side. So now my blade's on this side. This is my key piece, this is my scrap. So my blade has to sit on this side of the line. That one's right there. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that rabbit. Right? So I'm going to cut that pocket out there. So same thing, I bring it up here. Try it right there. I'll hold it really firm. Right. 
rabbit. Bring a rabbit in here. Here's kind of a big idea here. If this thing's a little long, that's fine because I can sand it down flush. If it's a little short, I can't sand it. If it's a little too short, that means this whole board right here has to get sanded down versus a little bit long, then it'll be easy to sand that down. My rabbit nice. is when I'm going to measure from here for my three inch mark. <clears throat> right, so I'm three inches in here. So there's my three. And then I got to make sure I get my miter right. My miter's going out that way. So I sketch it on there. This is the exact mark. That's a rough. And then here's another big concept too. This off cut is my other miter. There's my butt joint. I'm going to cut this one so that it drops right in there. Could use that. There's my. There it is. So there it is. And then the check is you want to go corner to corner, corner to corner. If those are the same, that means it has to be square.